guys welcome back to my channel all about english with divyata in this video we will study unit 5 of english language that is the noun number okay now when i say number what is the first thing that clicks in your mind 1 2 3 4 till infinity okay this only comes now because in my mind this only clicks at the first time when a person says number it is 1 2 3 4 till infinity but in english language or say in english we have only two types of numbers okay only two types of numbers in english language and what are they let's see number 1 number 2 what is it number 1 singular nouns and number 2 plural nouns okay now let's see what is singular and what is plural nouns okay one more question what is a noun what comes in your mind let's revise it once now name of a person place animal or a thing okay that is called a noun and we have different different kinds in it common noun proper noun abstract noun collective nouns uncountable nouns etc and etc okay so now let's come on to a topic singular noun first singular noun what does singular noun means over here means one in number only one it will only be one the noun will be only one whatsoever the noun is a common noun or a proper noun example boy okay one in number girl man say nipun divya okay all these things are single in number i'm not saying na boys girls mans man it won't be it, it will be men and i'm not talking about too many nipuns i'm not talking about too many divyas okay so this is one in number this will be a singular noun singular noun means one in number now comes the next plural nouns plural nouns what are plural nouns plural noun means more than one more than one it can be 2 3 4 5 100 1000 100, any number but it will be always more than one example boys girls men see the fellows okay now plural noun means more than one in number example boys girls men buffellos etc so what is singular noun singular means one plural means more than one now there are many ways by which we form plural nouns out of singular nouns okay singular to plural we have many rules for this okay let's see them one by one the first one is by adding s to the singular noun okay by adding s to the singular noun how let's take an example girl girl i have written it the plural of this will be girls what i have added here i have just added s take another example cow what will i write cows just i have added it here over here is this s so this becomes the plural noun cows becomes the plural noun and cow is a singular noun this becomes the plural noun the first rule is by adding s let's see the second rule for this by adding es okay how 
I say buffalo. Buffaloes. Okay, what I've done here over is I've just added ES. So this ES over here changes this singular noun into a plural noun. Take another example. Okay. Say class. C L A S S E S classes. What have I done here? E S. I've just added E S at the end of the word. Class is a singular noun. This becomes a plural noun by adding E S. Next. By adding O. Now, how? When I say I have your O, I'll add S to it. Kilo, kilos. What I did? I just added S over here. Okay. Logo. Logos. There are many situations, many words which have O at the end and we'll just add S at the end of the word to make the plural noun out of the singular nouns. Fourth. Let's see. I will have Y. We'll have Y at the end of the singular nouns. Okay. At the end of the singular nouns, we will ha be having Y. And we'll just change this Y. We'll remove this Y from the word and we'll add I, E, S at the end of the word. How? Example. Baby. Babies. Okay. Then, army. Armies. What I did here is, I just added IES by removing the consonant Y. I removed the, this Y and I just added IES. So, there are ways in which, last one was from O, I just added S to it. Here, I have removed Y from the singular noun and just added IES to the singular nouns to make the plural of it. Now, now the fifth one. Okay. I have F. I will remove this F. Okay. And I'll add V-E-S to the singular word. How? Wife. Okay. Sorry. F and E. E also. Slash. F E, it will be at different different places. Wife, wives. V is there. I remo what I removed is F and E and I added V E S to it. Okay. Um, let's take another example. Say self. Selves. What I did, I removed the word F over here. And I added V-E-S to it. I told you, na, F and E will be there at the end of the singular words. We'll just remove these and we will add V-E-S to make the plural out of it. Now, next. Number six. We have few words in which there are vowels present in the words. Okay, like foot. This is a singular word. To make the plural of this singular word, we'll just simply remove this vowel and we'll replace it with double E, feet. Okay, foot to feet. I just removed the, I just changed the vowel from O, O to E, E. Okay. There are many more examples like this. Men. Sorry, man. 
what I what I'll do to make it a plural noun men. I change this vowel a to e. Woman. A is present over here. Woman. Woman, women. We say na woman, women. Woman means one. Women means more than one. Okay, more than one. Now, so is it clear that by removing few vowels from the singular nouns, we can make the plural out of it by replacing it with another vowel. Now, there are few phrases which can be changed to plural by just adding s, like brother in law. This is a singular one, means only one brother-in-law. Now, if someone has two brother-in-laws, what will he say? Brothers in law. Then father-in-law, fathers-in-law, mother-in-law, mothers-in-law. Okay, commanders-in-chief. Sorry, commander-in-chief, commanders-in-chief. All these things are few rules which can be kept in mind to make the right plurals out of the singular nouns. Hope this will prove useful for all of you and you will be able to make the right plurals out of the singular nouns.